Welcome to Motor USA TV. This week we've got some big feature stories that demand our attention. First up is this machine right here, the 2010 Polaris Razor 4. This baby is designed to bring UTV fun to the entire family with an additional two passenger seats in the rear. Our testing crew has been putting time on the new side-by-side -side on our local trails and on the Oregon dunes. To find out the scoop on this bad boy, let's ask the guy that's been stealing all the seat time. Hey JC, what's this thing all about? The Razor 4 is all about fun. And as much as I like to drive it, uh, it's basically about sharing that fun. And the cool thing about this is that up until now, there has been no factory offered four-seater. So the fact that you can buy this off the showroom, pack up your family, and go exploring the off-road or in the dunes, I mean, that's really what the Razor 4 offers, and it's great. Well, it sounds amazing. So what about the motor and suspension? It uses the same 760cc high-output twin-cylinder engine that the Razor S model uses. It's got about 55 claimed horsepower, and it's really pretty peppy. It's a heavy machine, but it gets up and goes well. The suspension are Fox Podium X 2.0 shocks. They're racing components. Overall, this thing handles really well. It's got a potent motor, and basically that means you can go really fast and not have to worry too much about what you're running into. So basically, you're telling me that this thing rocks. It does. The Razor 4 is so awesome. And one of the things that's so great about it is that you don't have to be a serious off-road person to enjoy it. It's very intuitive to use. It's much like driving a car. So pretty much anyone can pick this up take their family and their friends out with them and enjoy the outdoors. Well, then it looks like I'm going to need to pick up a set of keys for the weekend, but I think I'll need to order a helmet first. Fortunately, with lids like the new double bypass from Shift, looks like you can pick it up in the drive-thru. It's the time of year when the new motocross apparel starts hitting the showroom, and one of the first to reach Motor USA, or at least one of the most interesting, is the newest agent helmet from Shift. This is a company that prides itself on pushing boundaries with edgy and sometimes just plain wild designs. A perfect example is the double bypass motocross helmet. This greasy gear will probably give your friends a heart attack. Nothing says you've been hard on the training program like a juicy double stacker. The new helmet only costs 100 bucks on MotorcycleSuperstore.com and you can also check out the other 2011 gear. When most people think about California's Mammoth Mountain, they envision zigzagging through waist-deep powder on their skis or snowboards. But for two weekends each summer, this cozy mountain resort is invaded by an army of motocross racers in search of trophies and bragging rights. What's up everyone, Frankie Garcia here, Moto USA. We're out here at Mammoth Motocross testing our 2010 Kawasaki KX450F and our 2010 Kawasaki KX250F project bikes. On our 450, for uh, this weekend we've added some RG3 suspension, Frodo brake pads and uh, FMF exhaust. On our 250, we've added the same parts, but also we added some RG3 triple clamps. We're out here all weekend, six motos, tons of practice, tons of track time, see how it goes. This year, Moto USA competed in the Mammoth Motocross races with its fuel injected Kawasaki KX450F. So, how do we do? Read the story online now to find out. So, enough with the dirt pushers. Our street crew has been busy shredding rubber on their end. Check it out. Motor USA is pushing the envelope on middleweight shootouts with a new and ongoing series, building up each of the four Japanese 600cc for track day duty through a series of equally matched modifications. This multi-part Comparo kicked off with Stage 1 going live this week, so be sure to check it out online now and stay tuned for Stage 2 in the coming months. This series of articles and videos is designed to show just what these sport bikes are made of and what they can become. Not everyone needs a full fairing racing bike to get around town, but there's something to be said for the exhilaration of a stripped down sport bike for everyday commuters. For 2011, it's added another version to the fashionable Monster lineup with the Monster 796. This new Street Fighter fills the gap between the entry level Monster 696 and performance oriented 1100. Our road test editor rode it through the streets of Italy during World Ducati Week and came away impressed with its manageable size and charismatic air cooled V twin engine. Check out his assessment online now at Motorcycle USA. Thank you everyone for checking in. We're running full throttle in the coming weeks as more new models are released and preparations for the Laguna Seca Moto GP race are in full swing. So be sure to check out our weekly online content and stay in touch with Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you next week.